build your Glock 19s. I freaking love my Glock, man. However, a lot of people overspend on their Glock. Now, I'm not hating on people spending money on whatever they want. I mean, hey, if you want to spend $3,000 for a Glock, go right ahead. Those Gucci Glocks are freaking awesome. However, if you want to have a Glock that's probably worth about $1,000 for a lot less than that, check this out. As far as your frame goes, you don't want to just get a Glock 19 OEM frame for the cheapest price you can find. I got mine on sale, prices vary. However, just go on and get the one straight up from Glock. They're a lot cheaper, or you can even 3D print them, which is a lot more fun. I personally got a Gen 3, which included finger grooves. However, I went on and dremeled mine out and actually gave myself a little bit more of a groove here. And that's been really helpful. And you don't really need to hire anyone special to get it. Now, this does not look all that amazing. However, I care a little bit more about performance than I do how good it looks. If you want to get something fancier, you can either do it yourself just a little bit more carefully, or you can hire a guy. I also consider talon grips to be absolutely imperative for any pistol you get. Very comfortable and very sweat resistant, especially if you live in the South. I also recommend that you get a Glock 19 lower parts kit that has an extended slide release and an extended mag release. They're very much worth the money. And as far as the trigger goes, there's so many things you can do with this trigger. There's so many triggers for the Glock 19 for various different prices. There are triggers that cost just as much as my gun alone. However, I don't think a lot of those are worth it. If you want, go on and get a little bit of an enhanced sear. I hear that can help a lot with the trigger. However, if all you care about is performance and you really don't wanna to spend too much on your trigger, just put a lot of rounds through it, train a lot, and that trigger will get better over time. Next is the slide. I recommend Brownells RMR cut slides. They're really awesome. You can get slides with some awesome, you know, holes through them. It looks really cool, saves a little bit on the weight of the slide. However, for me personally, I don't like to have a slide that anything can just get into it and jam it up. If any little pebbles, dirt, or whatever gets into my Glock, it'll jam it up. So for me, I opted to have a little bit more of a sealed in system with, of course, an RMR cut for once I actually do get an RMR or a red dot that has the same imprint of an RMR. So that way I can have red dot on my pistol, which is a huge force multiplier. Next, we'll go with a flashlight. Very controversial thing. A lot of people go with just a Streamlight TLR7 or even a Surefire X300U. However, again, I keep my guns very budget friendly. And for me, this Valkyrie has worked every single time I've used it. I go to the range, I always use this flashlight. It has not failed me yet. However, I have heard horror stories coming from Olight and people not liking them. For me, a $250 light is just too much. And for me, my Olight has been working just fine. If you're curious, PL2 Valkyrie is an awesome light. I've used it a bunch. And But if you wanna go for something that's a little bit more of a proven brand, go for a Surefire or a Streamlight. More so on the Streamlight because again, they are a little bit more price conscious than Surefire, but go with whatever light you want. Now with a barrel, I went with a Combat Armory barrel. I like that brand because they provided a really cost-effective barrel that wasn't too fancy and allowed me to have threads on it. Now, if you don't shoot suppressed, don't get the one with threads on it. However, I don't think people should spend an insane amount of money on barrels. Then again, if you wanna do that, go right ahead. But if you wanna be a little bit more price conscious like me, you're not gonna be more accurate than a barrel is. Now for the most expensive part of the gun, my Chichicon Suppressor High Night Sights. These sights are really good. And some people will debate that actually you really don't need to get suppressor high night sights because really all you really do is superimpose your sight alignment when you do have a suppressor on. Now, a lot of people say that you don't need to have night sights. And actually, I kind of agree with that. See, when you have your flashlight on, you really do see the profile of your sights allowing you to sight in just fine. So if you're not shooting suppressed, I recommend with going a little bit of cheaper sights, maybe even the OEM sights. Now, some people will prefer steel. So maybe investigating a company like True Globe or Trujicon might be your best bet. Glock is an amazing platform. You can customize it any way you want. I fully built this one and I love it. If you want to overspend and get yourself a really cool looking amazing Gucci Glock, go right ahead. However, what makes Glock so amazing is that it's such a popular platform. You can build your own and that's what I recommend, especially if you want to get the perfect Glock that won't bankrupt you. Anyways, I'm Adam Cantrell from Next Gen Arms. Hope you guys have a great day.